What are we doing today? <clears throat> well, let me tell you. We're putting a, 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 um, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, you know, a, um, uh, an escape hatch. This is where the emergency exit was, <clears throat> but both of my emergency exits, the like, plastic was old and brittle and cracking and there were leaks and they had to be replaced. And I was briefly considering putting a new emergency school bus escape hatch in, but they're like 300 bucks, 250 bucks for a new one. So I found something that's even more functional. It's meant for an RV, but it's going to work. I'm gonna make it work. It's almost the right size, but not quite. And the tricky thing is, we've got we've got these um, these cross beams here, and those aren't going to work out. Um, I can't get rid of those, but I do have to cut the. I have to make a bigger hole in the in the roof, um, a hole bigger than than the, it has to go past this. But if you see up in there. Um, it goes through here a ways, so <clears throat> I've got to I've got to do some tricky business, <laughs> but I think I figured it out. I think I know how to do it. It's just going to take a little bit of time, a little bit of elbow grease, and <clears throat> the angle grinder, which we all love the angle grinder, or at least I do, because of the sparks. That's fun. <laughs> so uh, first things first, I got to get this. Uh, out of here. I gotta get this uh, old escape hatch frame out. So let's do that. All right. Yeah. Tools. Power tools. Man stuff. Okay. So now I just need to pry this off, <clears throat> which it shouldn't take much. Oh yeah, it's just, it's so brittle. It's just, it's why I had to go. There's no way it could have, it couldn't stay. You have to go. Um, it just, I mean, I could have resealed it, but I mean, you see how this like, it's just so brittle and old and, oh, I forgot about this stuff. Oh, there is this gross black, like tar stuff under here and it is, ew. I'm gonna have this all over me. Gotta do it. Well, I can't get up under there. Man, this isn't coming up in one piece, just like little pieces are like, oh, breaking. There we go. I don't know about this. Oh man. Man alive. Oh, what about this? to do it from the bottom you know you know what I mean oh I don't want this stuff on me though oh. oh you gotta see this like what is this stuff oh it's like there's like a Got like a, this. What is that? Ugh, I don't want to touch it. It's like tar, and I'm not just being a Nancy. It like it does not come off. It's so gross. 
Right, and <laughs> done. Okay, now we gotta like kind of clean this up because we gotta cut. We gotta cut this stuff. Oh. Well, I forgot about these ribs here. I gotta get the tape measure. I'm gonna have a problem. Okay, so, oh no. I, we might have bad news. So, whoa. The bad news <laughs> might be that I fall off the ladder. Oh, we need this to be 27 and a half between these ribs, and it's not. I can t I just know that it's not going to be, and I... Hmm. <clears throat> well, kids. thinking cap on. I don't know if this will work or not. That balancing my camera against the cup didn't work. Man, I don't know. See, here's the problem. Well, good grief. So, so here's the thing. See, we've got this rib. <clears throat> it's got these bolts. Rivets, ra rather. They're rivets. The thing is, like, the lip of this thing needs to go over this a little bit, which isn't a big deal. But I don't know, I don't know about these. Like, I don't know. It's going to have to go on top of those. And I mean, I can, like, caulk the heck out of it. That's just not ideal. That is not ideal to have the lip going over those. Oh, I don't know. I might have to wait for Big Jack. OMG! I was just like in the house. I got to a point where I was like, I can't do this without Big Jack. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I've got to like saw through some stuff. And I. Uh, like gave up until Big Jack got back and I was just like in the house just like hanging out and I got a text and he was like Oh, hey, I'm about to put your uh, Your 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 vent hood in you want to come help? <laughs> what? He's just up there <laughs> Just doing all the work. So anyway, let's pass this up to him. What? Okay, so the issue was the hole wasn't big enough, so we had to make the hole bigger, and I did not have the tools to make the hole bigger. I didn't have... <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. Um, I did not have the tools or the skills to make the hole bigger. So he just has, you know, this like Sawzall. Sawzall. So, what's it called? Sawzall? Sawzall. Sawzall. Uh, and he just like cut it out. So we just got it. Like, ready to go. Okay, let me get this thing on a tripod. see the issue right like we had to remove this rib from the frame because it's curved and this is straight and there's a way and uh 
you know, my worry is that it's going to affect the structural integrity of the bus, but um, a lot of people completely chop off the top of their bus, raise it <laughs> two feet, and re-weld their frame. So um, in the scheme of things, I think we're okay. What? You just want some air? Oh wait, you want to escape? You can escape. <laughs> nice! Whoop, whoop. Oh, hi. I couldn't help but overhear you saying how desperate you were to watch more YouTube videos. Well, you can. Subscribe here. You won't miss a thing. Or watch my film, Once is Enough, right here. Or just click here. Watch another video.